I am so grateful. Miss Cherie, I'm going to do her introduction before I bring her up to the screen. Miss Cherie Long is the owner of Color Me Hot Cosmetics. She is a mom and she is a wife and she is a woman who loves to see other women make themselves look beautiful by creating hot looks, hence the name uh, of her business, Hot Look Couture. So I'm going to bring Miss Cherie up on stage and let me make sure, are you muted? Let's say hello for me, Cherie. Hello. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning, Miss Ash. Thank how, you for having me. How are you? I am doing well. It's a little cold up here in Georgia. Uh, my head it's cold good. here. Girl, it's cold here too. It was 31 degrees this morning. Yeah, we got, uh, it's 49 here, so it's cold. Here in Georgia. Yeah, it, it's so too. So I want to thank you so much for hopping on early for me today and helping me fill this space. I appreciate it. No I just problem. gave your intro. Yeah, I just gave your introduction. Everybody, y'all say good morning to Cherie. Make sure that y'all are following her on TikTok. I am going to put up her name and I'm going to put up her website. You can follow her on TikTok under that name, Color Me Hot Stuff. Thank I you. Thank you. Absolutely. Find her on TikTok under the name of Color Me Hot Stuff. TikTok, y'all can see her website scrolling and y'all can see her name scrolling. So take a second and make sure that y'all follow Cherie and we are going to support one another Especially if you are another woman-owned business, you ain't going to follow another female entrepreneur? Oh, okay. So <laughs> let's hop right in. I am going to ask you, Cherie, five questions, and then we got a cute little game at the end. Nothing serious, just something that's fun. Okay. Um, so I'm going to ask you these five questions, and then at the end, I'm going to let you plug your business and tell us whatever you want to tell us about your business, okay? All righty. All right. So hopping right in. Of course, I gave the introduction with a very, you know, um, quick and simple bio. But tell us about your business. What is your chosen industry and why did you choose that industry or that business? Well, I am Sheree. I am the owner of Color Me Hot Stuff Cosmetic. I chose the beauty industry because I love making all things hot. I love seeing people being able to trans. Um, formation, you know, with makeup, making yourself look fabulous, making yourself look like a different person. Just, you know, I've been into makeup since I, I was a little girl. My mom couldn't keep me out the hair so buying that red lipstick and that black <laughs> eyeliner. That black eyeliner right. that I used to line my lips with. So, yeah, I've been into, I started my business, um, in 2014, that's when I moved to Atlanta, Georgia, because as you know, we love the beauty industry out this way, this way. And um, I'm also a mom of two, one living and one deceased. I am a bonus mom of one, and I also raised my niece from nine years old until she moved out when she was like 20. And I'm a wife. Anyway. Amen. So you can relate to what I was just talking about, baby. When you wear multiple hats, when you are everything to everybody, baby, we yeah. be stretched paper thin. Don't ask me for nothing else. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that information. Okay. Question number two, uh, Cherie, is as an entrepreneur, what challenges or obstacles have you encountered that you know are specific to being a woman? And how did you overcome those obstacles? Um, what challenges I faced it like jumping into the beauty industry. I, I really didn't do much research because I didn't realize it's over thousands of makeup brands out there. And I just jumped out there, but I was able to overcome it by because here's my issue is i love makeup but i don't offer makeup services you get what mm -hmm. i'm saying so mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to promote my brand when people actually want to see you swatching and doing your own makeup and stuff like that so 
even though I do my own makeup, I have never did anybody else's makeup. But I did get out here in the East Atlanta streets and Alabama streets, and I found some amazing makeup artists, and um, we was able to do videos and stuff using my products, you know, just to get it out there to show people what I'm working with. Yeah. Absolutely. And please be encouraged as a hairstylist. I'm in the beauty industry. I know how to do makeup. I don't offer makeup either, but I just want to encourage you. And you've been in long enough to figure it out at this point. Yeah. Um, but I want to encourage you that there are so many women out there that love makeup, but they don't want to do makeup. I like to dress up and make myself look nice, yeah. but I'm not interested in doing your makeup. Yeah, but that's but like, that doesn't that's mean like I don't want to buy makeup. I get once, you know, if I'm out here passing out my business cards and stuff like that, they ask me, you know, do you do makeup? Or if they see some of my work, I mean, my pictures on Instagram or Facebook, they want to know, did I do my own makeup and stuff? But so what I did was I got out here in these streets and I found some wonderful makeup artists that was willing to use my products on their customers, mm. send me videos and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I've been doing. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. So you figured it out. You created your own lane, and that's what I'm about, honey. Yeah. Make it work for you. Yes. So question number three, do you feel that being a business owner has allowed more space for you to embrace your womanhood and motherhood? Yeah, being, uh, being a business owner, I was able, I raised four kids full time. Um, like I said, I had two of my own. Um, my bonus daughter, she did live with us until she was 20 and, and my niece as well. And so I was able to be in a business on and set my own hours so I can be at football games, ROTC, mm -hmm. you know, be present with them, you know, but let yeah. me tell you this, I did. I was so focused on building my brand so I can provide for the family. I let one slip through the crack. And I didn't realize until too late that, you know, he was slipping through the crack. You know what I'm saying? And that's my oldest son. And he's now this he, um, he was murdered. In, he was murdered in Alabama. And so, so. I blame myself a lot. I like, like I was too busy like, trying to build my brand to get, you know, income, get, dibbling, you know, dabbling, a lot of stuff to bring in income as a, you know, businesswoman that I didn't see him slipping through the cracks. But, you know, most, you know, most part was, most part of it, I was able to, you know, be at the schools, cheerleading, football, ROTC, you know, just spending quality time, making memories, taking trips. So, yeah, it, it, it helped yeah. a lot in my own body. And if I could, Cherie, because I definitely do not want to open any wounds. First, I, my deepest condolences for the loss of your son. I'm sorry that that happened. I do want to encourage you to know that even if you were at every waking moment of your son's life, you understand that some things are outside of our control. Yeah. And I relate to that part of your story. I, I have not lost my son. Um, he's still he physically here with me. And you know, your son is still with you spiritually. I'm sure you know that. Um, yeah. My oldest son, who is 16, will be 17 in July, is right now not in my care because he has decided to make some choices that are outside of my control. Yeah. And as a mom, I relate because sometimes we can be doing everything we possibly can do and it's still not enough. But I want you to know that it was nothing that you could do to change yeah, that it outcome. Took me, it took me a while and you know, talking with the pastor and stuff to realize, you know, I was out here doing what I needed to do to provide for him and just so yes, happened he just being honest, loaded them streets. And, yeah. um, and um I just felt like at, for a minute that I was too wrapped up in two words yeah. that I didn't see that the streets was taking him. Was was becoming more of an influence than we are, and I know a lot of moms, a lot of moms relate to that. The yeah, but he, understand he, he, the day he got murdered, and I was like, dog, I should have been doing this. I shouldn't have been, you know, out here traveling with my lipstick bus. I should have just been paying more attention to him. But like you said, it was out of my control, and 
suffering, yeah. you know, it happened. I'm living with it, but I learned to not beat myself up because I had to get this in. Thank you. Provide for them. Yeah. Thank you. And I share that because I was a single mom. Um, my oldest, I, I call him my struggle baby. We got it out the mud together. We yeah. grew up together. And so I remember taking him to the salon with me, taking him to college with me. I had no choice. It was just me and him. And so as he got older, he doesn't, like you said, he don't want to be under his mama 24 seven. And I still have to go to work. I still have bills mm -hmm. to pay. I still have mm -hmm. responsibilities that as moms, if I don't provide for you financially, I'm a bad mom. Yeah. But if I don't give you the time, I'm a bad mom. If I don't, so what do you do? We do the best that we can. Yes. And I we we cannot carry the guilt that if we tried our best to balance everything, if it still didn't work. Yeah. You know what I mean? So You're right. You're I appreciate right. you sharing that. Uh, yeah. And I hope any other woman that is struggling with the balance between motherhood, womanhood, businesshood. I hope you hear this and are encouraged by both me and Cherie's story. Let it be okay for you to hire help. Let it be okay for somebody to come in and help you. Let it be okay for someone else to have the authority to answer the emails. If that lightens your load yeah. and frees one hour of your day to where you can have a better work-life balance, it's worth it. Don't tell yourself you can't afford to hire somebody. Tell yourself you can't afford not to. Sincerely. So I appreciate that transparency. And thank you for sharing with the people, Cherie. Let's oh, go yeah. on to question number four. Number four question is, how has entrepreneurship impacted your overall life? Ooh, being my own boss. Uh, it, first of all, it changed my address. It changed my life. And I, like I said, I was able to be there for the kids most of, you know, the most of the time. I was yeah. able to provide for my mom. When she, my mom was fighting cancer. So I was able to provide for her financially, mentally, sit at the cancer center with her as well. Because I set my own hours and mm -hmm. you know, network off your laptop and your computer. And I'm also yep. doing the same for my aunt. She's fighting cancer. So uh, mm. it, it has definitely changed my life. And I'm so grateful to God for it. You know, because like I said, before I decided to become my own boss, I was getting it out the mud too. Literally. <laughs> I, I understand. Yes. I talk about my trailer park days all the time. And I say, and I sit back and I think how good God is. You know, I went from my little yeah. trailer, and I love my little trailer now, to up here in Atlanta. And I think, um, you know, it, it's provided good for the kids. You know, I didn't yeah. struggle raising them and stuff like that. Like I said, you know, the oldest one did jump out there but jump out most of all there. like i said being an entrepreneur said my own hours has been good to me awesome awesome so what i hear you say is it's had an overall positive effect yeah. over your life because it's giving you a lot of flexibility a lot of availability that a, a regular nine to five and again nothing exactly. wrong with a nine to five exactly. w2 employment is Listen, y'all got benefits we ain't got. Somebody paying exactly. half y'all taxes that that we ain't we don't have. Yep. Somebody's Thank giving y'all vacation time, sick time. Y'all be getting discounts from y'all employees. That we don't and get. all that stuff. Yeah, right. Like I said, so I not at all shaming you. a W two no. employment no. opportunity. No. However, being self employed does give you some more flexibility that sometimes a W two employment does yeah, not and give. Yeah, and you're so, able yeah. to. Be at home at night with your husband and your kids and stuff like that. Like I said, nothing wrong with a W-2 yep. because before entrepreneurship, I had my little nine to five at that gas station. Me too. <sighs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So your last question, Cherie, is if you could share three business related tips, what would they be? Three business related tips. This is one I live by. Don't cancel your business just because the people you know don't support you. Oh, everyone will be the right fit for your business. And that's okay. 
Okay. And no That's matter okay. how small no your business is, you be very, very, very proud of it. Very proud. Yes. <laughs> yes. Those are great. So I want to repeat those to make sure that everybody heard it. Number one, the people who are close to you may not support your business, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Not everybody is your client or customer, and or that's right okay. Mm -hmm. Or the right fit, because what you offer may not be what they need. Yep. And number three, always, always be proud of your business, regardless of how small or how big, because ownership, you built it, you yes. made it. That's yes. yours. Your name is on it's that. Mine. And you as you as the owner, and Sheree, I'm not trying to take over your, your word, yeah, but that right ahead. there was a gem. You control how big that business gets based yeah. on how much you believe in it, how much effort you put into it, how much you invest in it. It can only be as big as you believe it can be. So yeah. those were some great tips, Sheree. Great, yeah. great tips. I so now, yes. So now I have a cute would you rather question, okay. and then I'm going to give you the floor to plug whatever you want to plug. We've been plugging your website. Y'all see it scrolling on the bottom. Y'all need to make sure that before the end of the day, y'all go visit colormehot.bigcartel.com and go buy something from Cherie. It is, it is woman, Women's History Month. It is Women's History Month, and these women that I have on my panel are making history. We out here making moves. We got motion, as the young people say. We out here yes, got motion. We got yes, motion. Yes. You got motion, Sheree. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> your would you rather question is, would you rather win the lottery, but you have to spend all the money in the day, in that same day, or would you rather double your current income for the rest of your life? Ooh, Ash, why you ask that? Oh. Because it's would you rather, and I'll the let person. me make it a little easier. Okay, the so person. you would rather win the lottery, but and you have to spend it in the day, day. but can. you get to keep everything that you bought. Yes, and I can't spend it in a day. Okay, <laughs> what would you buy? What What's the first thing um, you'd buy if you bought won the lottery? Properties, um, buildings, oh, something that's going to generate some more income in. All the women so far have all picked. Give me what's going to give me a return. Oh, and I yes. love it. Build yes, I love it. Old abandoned shopping center. Oh, yeah. I can spend it. Now. Right. Listen, I like the way you think. Yes. So that is all the questions that I have for you, Cherie. Do you have anything that you want to plug? You got anything specific that you want to tell the people so they know I how they can support you? I want to say, um, us as women, we need to support each other. Y'all, check out Color Me Hot Stuff Cosmetics. I'm, I'm out here in Atlanta and I'm trying, but uh, I have amazing products that can make you look even more amazing. Just support let's just let's support each, other. support each other i got you if you had to pick one product that you would l recommend to the people what is your top product that you love it's your lip it's gloss. your baby lip gloss. The lip gloss. number one seller lip gloss all shades. gotcha that's my number one seller they love um a good long lasting shiny lip Agreed. I am a lip girly myself. I need to go make sure that I support you today, Cherise. Cherise, sorry. Cherise said go to her website, colormehot.bigcartel.com and get you some lip gloss. And men, do not think that you are exempt from support. I know you got a mama, sister, cousin, daughter, yeah, co-worker. You got somebody I got that can use for all. I got everybody. For everybody. Be sure to check yes. it out. I got something for everybody. So y'all make sure that y'all go and support Cherie um, on colormehot.com, Big Cartel. I want to take a moment to thank Cherie so much thank for not you. only joining the panel, but coming in early because I needed her to. And I appreciate you. This is what a woman to woman okay. in a positive way looks like. This like, is what the yes, support I should look you like. Thank for having me, Ash. And I love you what you're doing. We don't see too much of that, but I love it.
Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much for the support. So I hope you have a wonderful, productive Monday. And everybody, make sure that y'all go to her website. Make sure y'all follow her. Follow her on TikTok at Color Me Hot Stuff. And make sure that y'all yeah. go to her website and pick up something to support this small black woman uh -oh. owned business. Oh, I got yes. it. That, I got it. That yes, time. yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, Have a great you. day, Cherie. You do the same. Bye.